In this video we're going to learn how to solve two-step equations and get an introduction to multi-step equations as well. Here's our first problem. 3 times x plus 4 equals 10. And our goal is to look for the value of x that is going to make this equation true. Now we're going to start by using the history of x method. In other words, we're going to use order of operations to make a list of what happens to x and then we're going to use that information to solve the problem. So in this equation, if you look at x, the first thing that happens is x is multiplied by 3 and then to that you add 4. To solve, we're going to use the inverse of those steps in reverse. So we're going to look at the inverse and the inverse steps are for adding 4, the inverse is subtracting 4, for multiplying by 3, the inverse is dividing by 3. That's the inverse in reverse. So we'll take the equation 3x plus 4 equals 10. And the first step in the inverse and reverse down at the bottom is to subtract 4 from each side. So we'll subtract 4 from the left and from the right and we're left with 3x plus 4 minus 4 which is 0 so that's 3x plus 0 equals 6 or 3x equals 6. Now what's the next step in our inverse and reverse? We already subtracted 4 so next we divide by 3. So we divide both sides by 3 and on the left 3 divided by 3 is 1 so that's just x and on the right side 6 divided by 3, 6 over 3 is 2. So now that we have an answer, we want to check the answer. So we take this answer 2 and we go back to our original equation and substitute 2 for x and see if the equation works. So this is going to be 3 times 2 plus 4 equals 10. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 4 equals 10. 6 plus 4, uh, 10 equals 10. So we've answered correctly. That is the correct solution. Now in this example, this looks like a one-step equation, but it's really two steps. And the second step is hidden, so I need to show it to you. In this case, if we take a look at the first thing that happens to x, we have this subtraction here. And we're going to record that as multiplying x by negative 1 to get this subtraction. Then we're going to add 5 to that. And this is the add 5. The inverse and reverse is to subtract 5 and divide by negative 1. So let's see how that works out. First, we subtract 5 from each side. And we see here's the subtract 5 and here's the subtract 5. And on the left side, 5 minus 5, we can gather that together. So we get this negative x plus 5 minus 5 equals 5. And then we have this opposite of x equals 5. And that negative sign really should be read as opposite. So opposite of x equals 5. Now if we divide each side by negative 1, the opposite of x divided by negative 1 is x, and 5 divided by negative 1 is negative 5. So this is x equals negative 5. Now let's see if that solution works. We have 5 minus x equals 10, so 5 minus negative 5 equals 10. Minus a negative is addition, plus, so this is 5 plus 5 equals 10, 10 equals 10, and our answer is correct. In example number 3, we have a what looks like a fraction on the left-hand side, but we can use the exact same method, the history of x. If we look at what happens to x, First, we add 7 and then divide the whole thing by 2 and get 12. The inverse in reverse is multiplying by 2, subtracting 7, and then we get x. So let's do that. The first step is to multiply each side by 2, and this is what that looks like. And when we multiply the left side by 2, the 2 that we're multiplying by here and this denominator divide to 1. 2 divided by 2 is 1. So the left-hand side is simply 
x plus 7. On the right hand side we have 2 times 2, that's 24. The next step is to subtract 7 from each side, and we'll subtract 7. So on the left hand side we have x plus 0, or x, equals 17. Now let's check that answer. We have x plus 7 over 2 equals 12. We substitute 17 for x in that equation so that we have 17 plus x divided by 2. That's 24 divided by 2 and that does equal 12 so our solution is correct. Here are four problems for you to try. I'd like you to copy them into your journal, stop the video and solve them, and then restart the video to check your answers. Okay, here are the solutions to the four problems. 3x minus 7 equals 24. The solution is x equals 31 thirds. For the second problem, 16 minus x equals 8. The solution is 8. For the third problem, x minus 5 over 6 equals 8 x equals 53. And for the last problem, negative 2x plus 13 equals 25. The solution is x equals negative 6. If you got anything, any one of those wrong, or you'd like to see how those are solved, keep watching the video. If you've got them all right and you feel like you know what you're doing, you're done. You can stop the video. Okay, for the first problem, we have 3x minus 7 equals 24. And we can look at the history. Um, x is multiplied by 3 and then 7 is subtracted, so that's times 3 minus 7. The inverse and reverse is adding 7 and then dividing by 3. So we take 3x minus 7 equals 24. We add 7 to each side. We get 3x equals 31. Divide each side by 3, and we get x equals 31 thirds. And it's okay for an answer to be a fraction. Now we'll check the answer. 3x minus 7 equals 24. 3 times 31 thirds minus 7 equals 24. 3 times 31 thirds is just 31 minus 7 equals 24, and that is correct. For the next one, 16 minus x equals 8. Remember that the first step in an equation like this, when we have a minus x, 16 minus x, is to multiply x by negative 1. And then we add 16, and it's addition because the 16 is positive. The inverse and reverse is negative 16, so that's subtracting 16, and then dividing by negative 1. So here's the solution. 16 minus x equals 8. We subtract 16 from each side. So we now have negative x, or the opposite of x, minus 16 plus 16 equals negative 8. And this is opposite of x equals negative 8 divide each side by negative 1 and we have x equals 8 and we can check the answer by looking at this we substitute 8 for x so we have 16 minus 8 equals 8 that's true so the answer is correct now by now you may be able to do some of these without doing a history and that's fine I show you the history just in case you're still using it and uh, if you need to check it so here we have x minus 5 over 6 equals 8 and the history of x is we subtract we start with x we subtract 5 and then we divide by 6 to get 8 the inverse and reverse is multiply by 6 and then add 5 so we'll start with x minus 5 equals uh, over 6 equals 8 we'll multiply each side by 6 on the left side we have simply x minus 5 on the right side we have 8 times 6 is 48 we add 5 to each side and we get x on the left and 53 on the right so x equals 53 and we can check the answer by substituting 53 for x we then have 53 minus 5 over 6 equals 8 53 minus 5 is 48 so we have 48 over 6 equals 8 then 8 equals 8 and our solution is correct and this problem negative 2x plus 13 equals 25. So the first thing that happens is that x is multiplied by negative 2 and then we add 13. And there are the steps in reverse. So we start with negative 2x plus 13 equals 25. Negative 2x plus 13 minus 13, 25 minus 13, that's subtracting 13 from each side. 
we simplify and on the left we get negative 2x and on the right we get 12 we divide each side by negative 2 negative 2 divided by negative 2 is 1 so we're left with x on the left and negative 6 on the right you can check our answer on the right by substituting negative 6 for x in the equation so this becomes negative 2 times negative 6 plus 13 equals 25 negative 2 times negative 6 is 12 so that's 12 plus 13 equals 25 25 equals 25 so our answer is correct